สวัสดีครับ Hi everyone My name is Mr. s u p a g r i t n a m d e v a l a i s a k I am Thai and studying at Berkshire Community College in Pittsfield, the United States. Today, I am going to talk about how autism has challenged me. As I had autism challenges since I was a child, it has made me feel sensitive to loud noises and crowds. Most of the people. May like staying in the crowded areas, things in common like concert halls, sports stadiums, and theaters, but those are not for me. When I am feeling like it's too loud for me in most situations, I told people around me that I am very sensitive to loud noises. Then I ask for excuse and move into the alternate room. To find my comfort and put my headphones on. When I am in a quiet area, I feel like I can better handle my loud noises sensitivity and manage my anxiety very well. This is for the introduction about me. Today, I am going to talk about my autism challenges that relates to the intercommunication style that I've learned from the class. First quotation: Monitoring nonverbal behaviors is another excellent way to keep in touch with your feelings. You can also recognize your emotions by monitoring your thoughts, as well as The verbal messages you send to others. This quote is from the Interplay textbook on page 239. Nonverbal behaviors are how they can draw gestures, getting in a f a r posture, good eye contact, and tone of voice. The quote explains that one of the challenging situations of mine was sound sensitivity. When I heard loud noises like crowded people, constructions, drills, and fire alarms, I tend to have myself uncontrollable. I felt anxious and had fear. Sometimes I screamed very loud and ran away, which it may not be appropriate. When I grew up older, I have learned. So many ways to control myself and better manage my nonverbal gestures, such as reading techniques using a noise cancellation headphones, and also earplugs as well, and finding in a quiet place nearby to calm myself down in appropriate way. Second quotation: Despite its advantages, a task-oriented station may alienate others when it seems to ignore their feelings. This quote is from the Interplay textbook on page 199. Task-oriented people means that they need to complete the task, like in a larger project or at work. That it needs to be done with less concern of others' feeling. This is my listening style, as I tend to listen to know what to be completed, and I don't like long conversations. I have more understanding over physical things rather than the abstract thing. My challenge is. Missing essential information, and easily losing the concentrations for long listening. That's why I need more time to comprehend the information that I listen to. Until now, 
I am trying to improve my listening skills by replaying the lectures and taking notes on the important information. In conclusion, being sensitive to loud noises sometimes can be challenging, but manageable. It is good to know that I have a task-oriented listening style, and it helps me fulfill my tasks with a focus for its completion. However, I should care for others feeling as well. Thank you for listening. So if you need to follow up my channel, please subscribe for more video and stay tuned. Thank you so much and see you and have a great day.